remember Super Simon? Well, this year, there's Pocket Simon. Just in time for Christmas, this is one game recommended by a consumer group that studies new toys every year. My Puppy Puddles was singled out as the most stupid toy for this year's Christmas season. What the plastic beagle does is it drinks water, then puddles. The bad thing about the toy is that kids soon found out that it can puddle anywhere in the house. It sells for $13. Other so-called trash box toys are Rodan, the flying monster that does virtually nothing, but took one 11-year-old 45 minutes to assemble. Another example? This is, this, this is Gregory. It's a vampire bat made out of uh, a rubber, rubberized product. You simply push on the back of him, the blood flows. flows. How yeah. much is Gregory? Gregory is 997. Mike Griffin, district manager for Lino Play World, admits though these toys are an educational waste, there are still many fine toys. I think the play value of a toy is up to the parents and up to the children as opposed to a consumer group. Dangerous items we do not purchase, nor do we carry. There are a lot of uh, toys out that offer creativity to a child to stimulate his uh, intellect, if you will. Um, games that uh, they mention in, in the w ways of electronics, little professor, little genius, that are almost educational aids, if you will. One example, the Hot Wheels Service Center. For $18, it provides unlimited play value. Tomy's smaller home and garden, more expensive, but again, a toy that will stimulate creativity and interest. Monsters and trash box toys will always be around, says Griffin. But the wave of more sophisticated electronic toys is indicative that children are smarter than they were years ago. And toy manufacturers, he says, know it's going to take a lot more to stimulate those young minds. Teresa Abate, Channel 4 News.